Uh, hello, everyone. Uh, my name is uh, Shi Jiega from uh, Rutger, Rutgers University. Uh, today, I will present our work, uh, Past Language Modeling over Knowledge Graphs for Explainable Recommendation. Uh, first, uh, let me introduce the background of our work. Uh, different from traditional recommendation that only needs to answer what items to recommend for each user. Explainable recommendation further requires to answer why the items are recommended. For example, if we recommend, recommend Espresso Max to one user, uh, in explainable recommendation, we also want to know the reason of such recommendation. A uh, possible explanation can be because the user purchased an espresso machine before, and they both belong to the same kitchen and dining category. And usually uh, the espresso machine and espresso max usually bought together by users. So this can be a possible explanation. To conduct expl explainable recommendation, Existing methods usually apply external knowledge graphs to provide more information about items. As a result, the suitable passes in the KG are provided as the explanations. To conduct KG-based explainable recommendation, all previous methods uh, require a step called reasoning over KG. Uh, that is for user, starting from uh, the user node, then sequentially determines the next hop nodes uh, as the uh, right, right arrows indicate in the example. And uh, we then move towards the potential items of interest following the KG, uh, KG topology. Finally, the target items are included in the recommendation list and the user-centric reasoning pass, uh, the, the right one, are uh, served as the, expl the explanations of the recommendation. In formula, we can define the KGER problem, the, the KG-based explanation recomm recommendation. The KG we use here is a user-centric knowledge graph. It's a combination of the user atom interaction graph and the uh, uh, the, in, the item attribute graph. For user item interaction graph, it stores interaction histories, such as user purchase a product. For item attribute graph, we can find external knowledge about different products. Um, the, path, uh, the path in graph G is defined as a sequence S, start, starting from entity zero, to entity L. Uh, these relations R1 to RL in between. Uh, based on the aforementioned concepts, we thus formalize the problem of KG-based explanation recommendation, the KGER problem, uh, as follows. First, uh, given a knowledge graph G and a test user U, the goal is to select a set of K recommendation items that has not been purchased by the user before. Along these K corresponding user-centric reasoning passes as the explanations. In these passes, the entity zero needs to be a user entity, while the last entity should be uh, an atom entity. Existing KG-based recommendation methods can be divided into two types. First, using KG-based embeddings, as a, as a rich content to enhance the recommendation performance. Example models of this tab are RippleNet and KGAT. In both of them, graph-based neural networks are leveraged to update node or edge representations based on existing KG topology and conduct multi-hop KG-based recommendation. While another stream of models such as PGPR or uh, logger treat KG-based recommendation as a Markov decision process. They either learn user-centric reasoning policy with reinforcement learning, 
or adopt neural logic reasoning for explicit user pattern modeling. They both, the, uh, then both of them leverage existing KG passes to conduct reasoning for explanation recommendation. However, privacy methods merely consider that uh, pre-existing connections in the KG, but um, only following the pre-existing connections in KG may lead to some important items never being reachable under a lens constraint. We call this issue as recall bias. Uh, this is because KG uh, is usually sparse and some items cannot be reachable within a lens constraint. To quantify the recall bias, if we cite a pass lens constraint as N, then we calculate the, the percentage of unreachable items under such constraint. It's easy to calculate. Just use the number of unreachable items divide the number of all items. From the recall bias statistics, we can see that there are plenty of unreachable items to discover beyond existing KG topology. Also, more items can be reached if we increase the value of N. So um, the recall bias is uh, more important to be solved if when the, the lens constraint is more such as three hops. Based on the background, we have the following motivations. Uh, when we take into consider, consideration the recall bias, we list the five expected features of KGER models. First, it's necessary to memorize and generalize the information in KG because they are important external knowledge to understand both user preference and atom attributes. Besides, we need to estimate the likelihood of different paths in order to determine which path can serve as a better explanation. Similar to previous approaches, the model also needs to mimic the reasoning process of different users to make personalized recommendation items. Moreover, we claim that a better KGER model can discover similar semantics and generate novel passes beyond existing KG topology. Last but not least, the model can be easily scaled to more relation types. Uh, language models leverage various statistical or probabilistic techniques to establish contextual rules and determine the joint probability of tokens in a given sequence. We found that language models are promising for KG ER problems because it can meet all the five expected features we just mentioned. Uh, for the first feature, the recent work comment uh, shows that the language models can not only remember seeing events in common sense KG, but also can be used to construct new KG elements for unseen events. For the second feature, the recent work connecting the dots adopts the past language model for event graph schema induction. The learned past language modeling, uh, the, the learned past language model is utilized to score and select coherent and salient event schemas. Different from traditional language model, in past language model, a pass in the KG is represented as a sequence of interleaved entity and edge tokens. Inspired by the work, we also learn past language model for user centric KG and uh, use the learned past language model to not only capture the user inter atom interactions, but also generate the candidate's past sequence with corresponding joint probabilities as ranking scores of KGEL. We, all, we also model nodes and the relations separately because the number of the relations are much smaller than the nodes, but the relations are very important. Um, from the given illustration, we can see that like previous path gathered reasoning methods. Path language modeling can also be used to mimic the reasoning process of different users to decide one uh, nodes by one nodes. Uh, this is the path language modeling, like the, the, the subgraph B uh, shows. Um, moreover, path language modeling can do something more. It can not only jumps in, in the KG, and thus generates novel passes beyond existing KG topology, but also easily scale to more relations. 
we can just simply add more relation tokens. That's it. Then contrast some uh, previous methods like neural symbolic uh, ones. Uh, they need to learn new symbolic networks for each relation. And that's what we built our KGER methods on the basis of past language modeling. Uh, knowledge graph in e-commerce are massive and informative, comprising a large number of entities and relations. For the purpose of training past language models, we require a large amount of past sequence that both represent user behavior pattern and atom size knowledge. To this end, we first employed off, off the shelf uh, random, work, random work algorithm to extract training passes from the graph. Uh, the training passes all start from user entity and, 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 and atom entity. Um, although the original training pass includes enough historical records regarding user and atoms, they are not diverse enough to explore new possibilities using the KG. To further improve the robust and robustness and diversity of our model, it's necessary to aug augment the input sequences. Uh, due to the, the scale of, uh, we, we then examine our construct KG and we have the following observation. Due to the scale of the KG, there are many similar but distinct style of feature entities. Uh, here, uh, we perform the sequence augmentation by randomly substituting a, a, type, a style of feature entity with a similar entity. Here we show examples of some uh, feature entities about the concept of health. Um, these are, they, they have similar semantic meaning. To get them, we utilize the sentence bird to cluster the feature entities with similar semantic meanings. Uh, given the training, Past sequence, we learn a past language model with uh, a simple transformer decoder. The input of the transformer decoder is a combination of three parts original token, uh, plus a position embedding, and the tap embedding. Here, tap embedding is used for indicating whether a token is a node token, a relation token, or other auxiliary tokens such as the end of sequence or uh, paddings. Uh, we, use, we use standard transformer blocks to update layer-wise representations. Each block consists of um, an attention module and a feedforward network. With the last layer representation, we predict next tokens with the help of two separate fully connected layers. One for determining the next entity token, one for deciding the next relation token. The training, the training laws have also the language modeling law, language model laws also has two parts uh, for the probabilities of edge and uh, sorry, uh, for the node and the relation tokens, uh, respectively. We, we then generate passes with the learned pass language model using top T decoding strategy to make recommendation with sample K pass sequences along with corresponding target items and rank them and rank, rank them by the joint probability scores. The items with the higher scores are selected for recommendation and the corresponding reasoning paths are served as explanations. We then conduct experiments, experiments to show uh, how our method performs and uh, can our method provide reason, reasonable explanations about the user preference. Um, as for the recommendation performance, our Methods outperforms all other baselines on three amazing e commerce data sites. Uh, this proves that our methods can discover new possibilities of similar semantics meanings, semantic meanings, and generate, generate novel paths, thus improving the upper bound of recommendation performance. To measure the ability of mitigating recall paths, we define a new metric called the new ratio, new reach ratio. In R2, it represents how many new ground truth items can be reached by a method beyond existing graph topology. Evaluated by the NR2 metric, we can see that compared with has scattered approaches, uh, the proposed method can discover semantics beyond the existing topology and thus alleviate the recall paths. Uh, we then give a case study to show our method's advantage. Examples show that uh, how 
PRM Rex discovers the ground truth atom walnuts, which is unreachable with pathfinding methods under three hop setting. The user has previously purchased a lemonade with a feature of California South features. In the original KG topology, it's impossible to reach the walnuts in three steps. However, uh, California South features suggest that the potential preference of the user for California produced products. Our method can capture the latent behavior pattern and generate other California related features and thus recommend the one not to the user. This demonstrates our method's ability to learn semantics and infer shortcuts to further uh, recommendation items. So overall, we can make the following conclusions. In this work, uh, we, further sh we first shed light, shed light on the problem of recall best in guide, uh, past guided KG ER approaches. Besides, we explore the new direction of leveraging past language modeling to capture knowledge and long range dependencies along KG paths. Finally, we conduct experiments on three real world data sites to demonstrate our method is promising both in making explainable recommendation and redu reducing the recall task. So that's the end of the representation. Thanks for listening. Thank you, CJ, for the presentation. Um, are there any questions from, from the audience? I would hate just uh, using time to, to ask my own questions and satisfy my own curiosity about the work but I'm happy to do so. Um, so there was, um, looking back at the reviews, there were um, some questions around the scalability of the approach and the three data sets that you have presented in the experiments, while reasonably sized, some could argue that in the real world online, there's, there's graphs with many more interactions and, 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 and nodes in their millions and billions. Could you perhaps comment mm -hmm. on, on um, the scalability of the approach and perhaps any planned experiments you, you might have um, with, with the graphs of a higher order of magnitude? Yeah. Um... Our experiments uh, show some scalability to uh, to two hundred thousand entities. Uh, okay. I think which is substantial, but we can we can still uh, scale up to more uh, entity nodes. Uh, for we for example, now we represent each node by one uh, specified uh, token. Mm -hmm. But for speeding up the softmax computation, we can either use the sampled softmax or multiple vocabulary. Uh, mm -hmm. We can apply these. For example, no, um, uh, for example, we can represent uh, one items as a continuation of multiple subtokens, and in this way, we can uh, largely uh, reduce the. Uh, the time using to to uh, calculate the softmax mm -hmm. thus can make the model more scalable to more uh, products uh, in a wide scale. Okay, thank you for that. 